let's work on the math behind the two prices monopoly model. So let's go here to the right and we're gonna solve this. Now recall that as a monopolist we want to maximize. We want to maximize uh, profit in such a way that we charge optimal prices to, to consumers from the regular segment and the discount segment. Meaning we need to know our profit function and differentiate it with respect to every customer base. So in other words, what's gonna be our profit? That's, that's the first thing we have to know. Well, the profit is gonna come from two sources. We have total revenue from the regular customers. We have total cost from, sorry, we have total revenue from the discount customers. And we also have total cost. We also have total cost, which is gonna be the following shape. The fixed cost plus the marginal cost times the total quantity. And the total quantity is made up of the quantity we're gonna sell to the regular customers and the quantity that are going to sell to the discount customers. So we'll keep that in mind. This is gonna be our total cost function. Now let's work out with the total revenues for each segment. So still our profit would equal to What's the total revenue? That's gonna be the price we charge for the regular customers times the quantity we sell to the regular customers. And here we're gonna charge a price to the discount customers times the quantity we sell to the discount customers minus this whole thing. And for now, I'm just gonna write this total cost, you know, just to save the time. We're gonna expand that when we need. So the profit would equal two. Now, what we need to know is the price of the regular customers. Recall that the price is a line. So what's the shape of a line? It has to have an intercept A minus the slope, which we usually call as B times the quantity that we're selling. And we're selling the quantity to the regular customers. So it's QR multiplied with QR. And now we're gonna do the same for the price of the discount customers. What's gonna be the shape there? Well, again, we have the same, we have the same intercept, right? We're having the same line. So we're having the same intercept a minus B, the same slope because we're on the same line. But then when it comes to quantity, recall that now we are working with the quantity of the discount customers. So we are expanding from the quantity of the regular customers to the quantity of the discount customers. And I actually should have written here better quantity discount plus quantity regular because now we're actually selling above the quantity regular customers by the amount that we're charging to the discount customers. Hope this makes sense. So this would be quantity uh, sold to the discount customers plus the quantity sold to the regular customers, meaning that our slope goes down with this amount, with quantity of the discount customers plus the quantity of the regular customers. Let me go to the right. Actually, let me zoom out better to make sm some more space so we can keep more, <coughs> more things visible. Um, this is our line and we multiply this, we multiply this with the quantity that we're selling to the, to the discount customers, quantity that we're selling to the discount customers minus our total cost. Let's just expand this line a bit to make it a bit more organized and then we'll be able to solve it. So let's multiply this, open the brackets, we have A times QR, A times QR minus B times QR times QR, so that's QR squared plus, let's open this one, A times QD, A times QD minus B times QD times QD becomes B times QD square minus B times QR, QR, and the QR we also multiply with QD, so times QD minus, minus the total cost, minus the total cost. So minus the total cost, yes, and that will be it. So that will be our profit function. Now, of course, to work out to work out the maximizing prices, we will have to differentiate. We will have to differentiate the profit with respect to the quantity of the regular customers because we have to find first the maximizing quantity and then find out the maximizing prices. So we'll maximize this with respect to the quantity that we sell to the regular customers, make it equal to zero. And then we're going to maximize the profit function with respect to the quantity of the discount customers, maximize that with zero, and we'll solve it as a system because we care about both at the same time. Let's leave it like that for this video. We're going to keep going in the next video.